It's really neat, guys. You know, the Peace Through Business program has been helping women entrepreneurs in Rwanda and Afghanistan for several years. But with recent events in the Middle East and Afghanistan, women who have built their businesses from the ground up now face a devastating challenge. When Kabul fell, I was heart broken. Dr. Terry Nice's program has worked with Afghan women for more than 15 years. In 2006, they were beginning to see freedom. The Taliban was gone and freedom was coming into their lives. Nice's local program, Peace Through Business, helps train and prepare women to lead businesses. They have generated 8,000 jobs in a 15 year period of time. A lot of clothing, they made a lot of jewelry, um, dried fruits, that's a big thing in Afghanistan. Women owned businesses thriving in Afghanistan until Kabul fell to the Taliban. It's a very difficult situation for them. They're heartbroken. Many of them want to continue to keep their businesses going. I have had some of the women say that the Taliban are not as bad today as they were in the 90s and they feel like that there'll be some freedom there. We hope so. And now Peace Through Business is holding a Shark Tank style competition to help these women get back on their feet. They will pitch their businesses on how bad they need money. Those that come out with really great quality business plans and information on why they need the money. The competition is next week. It's virtual. There will be three winners from Afghanistan and three from Rwanda. The first places receive $5,000. The second place winners, $3,000. And then third place gets $1,500 a piece. Nice tells us the money is coming from AT&T and the Boone Pickens Foundation.